guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the sunburst granny square. So for round one we're going to be making the centre of the sunburst, so this centre here. So to make your centre you want to take your yarn and make your slip knot in whichever way is best for you. And then we need to chain five. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. We then want to insert our hook into the very first chain that we made. You will have two loops on your hook. We want to yarn over and pull through both loops on that hook for a slip stitch. We're now going to be working into the centre of this circle and we need to make 16 treble crochets. So that's a UK term and in the US it would be a double crochet. So to make our first treble crochet we just need to chain three. One, two, three. We then need to do 15 full treble crochets, so we need to yarn over, insert into the hole in the middle, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's four treble crochets, including the chain three at the beginning. So one, two, three, four. So we need to do 16 in total. So at this point I've done 12 and as you can see we're starting to lose room so all you need to do is just pull it round so that they all bunch up together. So that's 12. So that's 16 treble crochets into that centre circle and all that's left to do now is to connect this circle. So as always we work into the third chain from the bottom on that initial chain three. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. And then we chain one, take our scissors and snip, pull the yarn through and then pull tight to secure. So that is round one. Now you can leave this circle uh, in the middle if you like it or you can just pull your tail end tight and sew in your end and it will make that hole either smaller or disappear depending on what you prefer. Round two will be in the next tutorial so don't forget to hit the notification bell button to be notified when that tutorial has been uploaded. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.